Alright, hey there Proxies, this is Proxify here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Renegade Let's Play. And if you guys didn't miss out in the last episode, basically what happened is, is that we went and headed on over to the Valley of Windworks. We finally got that door to finally open up and go and battle out some Team Galactic Grunts, and also go and uh, complete our very first Commander fight, which that was against Mars. And uh, I do have to say that it was somewhat of a pretty uh, crazy fight, uh, but either way, we knocked out the Progly relatively fast. I thought that we were going to probably we died by the Progly, but we're all good. So now we're going to be going and making our way on over to Eterna City for this episode for today. So I'm going to be uh, pretty excited about that, and hopefully you guys are going to be too, because hopefully uh, within this episode, uh, I don't know if we're going to have enough time to literally head into the gym, but if we do, that would be pretty neat, because then we can kind of get our way on through and hopefully clearing ourselves our next badge. But I don't think it's going to be happening relatively soon, because we actually do have to cross through the forest first. So we'll go into uh, go would take care of that and also help out with Cheryl to actually get uh, crossed over uh, to the other side uh, where we can go and over to Eterna City. But uh, without further ado, let's just go and do a little bit of a team recap and uh, get our team underway out here. So first of all, we're going to be starting off here with Shadow at level 18 with Fight, Spark, Cowl, and Charge. Also holding out the Quick Claw, which is still a relatively nice good item on Shadow because it has been a really big help uh, throughout uh, so far throughout all of our different stuff that we've been doing right now. We also do have Milo at level 16 with Confusion uproar hypnosis and air cutter we also do have esper at level 17 still holding out the exp share it does have tackle swift bite and quick attack we also do have eastern slave over at level four with tackle growl and still with rock smash we haven't really uh, gotten any other type of hm yet but i'm pretty much certain i think we do get cut or something i think somewhere around uh, when I, I think we go and talk on over to cynthia or something like that if i'm not mistaken we also do have Queen at level 21 with Bite, Mar Pulse, Double Kick, and Poison Fang. We also do have Luffy at level 18 with Scratch, Mock Punch, Flame Wheel, and also Fury Swipes. And that is basically everybody on the team, and also holding out the Silk Scarf. So, hope you guys have yourself a good Saturday. Uh, you guys should also be seeing another Mother 3 episode out here as well. So, again, if you guys haven't gone and checked out the Mother 3 series, it is going to be a back-to-back -back, uh, uh, episodes uh, throughout uh, uh, throughout this time with the series for the time being. Just so that I can just go clear up Mother 3 and head into our next game, which that is, of course, going to be Legend of Zelda uh, 1, actually, for the Nintendo uh, GBA, because I actually do uh, like that port a little bit better, because you actually do have a much better save file than what you would actually have in the original NES port. I was thinking about doing the NES port uh, 1 for Legend of Zelda, but... I don't really feel like trying to have to go and plug in a second controller and literally trying to save it that way. That is not going to fly with me. I would rather just go and just uh, do the do the GBA type of way and actually just hit up and start, I think, in the menu. And then you can actually just go and save from there. So, first of all, we got here is Ponyta. Uh, let me see. Do we have any type of Pokemon that can literally help us out with this fight? Well, I think we got Queen out here with Water Pulse. So, we should probably go and take care of that. All right, let's go and... Uh, Bring out Queen out here. Ember shouldn't really do all that too much damage. But I do have to say that Queen is basically, I think, our highest Pokemon so far on our team. Which, uh, which I do have to say, I thought for sure that uh, Luffy was going to be probably our highest Pokemon. But that's not going to be the case right now. But there we go. Ponyta is almost down. Uh, we could probably go and set for a bite. Uh, how much is Stomp going to do? Probably not a lot. But let's just go set for some bite right there. Now, also to off recording, I did go and actually pick up on some other super potions along the way just so that we can uh, basically be set uh, for our adventure here for this episode. Uh, we also do have a Weasel coming out, so you know that Shadow is going to be ready for the job. So let's go and uh, bring out Shadow out here for this. Now, also too, uh, I also do want to say though is that uh, speaking about uh, our rival SHG Davy, uh, we are going to be doing a co-op together at some point, and I think I already did tell you guys this before. I think in one of my uh, previous episodes, but if you guys are uh, just checking out this video right now, just want to let you guys know that I am going to be doing a co-op with him uh, relatively soon, uh, which should be pretty nice. Uh, I won't really tease you guys on, uh, on what the what the actual uh, game that we're going to be doing is, but I know, but. but all I'm going to say is, is that we are going to be doing a call with each other and uh, it should be relatively exciting so this is going to be the first time that I am going to be doing a co-op with uh, Davey out here so it should be a pretty nice and funny type of uh, series that should be going on. Now we also do have uh, Marie also coming out. Uh, let me see out here. Unfortunately we don't really have the best of Pokemon right now to really go and do anything but we could probably just send out Luffy out here, our starter Pokemon to go and uh, show off a little bit of some on-screen 
attacking out here, and hopefully we can get Marifa out out of this uh, out of this battle. Uh, I don't think Wapless is going to do a lot, but I don't think Flame Wheel's not going to be doing a lot either. But let's just go and light it up. Okay. Well, we did get ourselves paralyzed, which that wasn't very nice. And of course, we're going to be paralyzed again. There we go. And that is how we do it. Now I just have to. Well, I think in my bag, I'm pretty much certain that, yeah, we actually did buy out a little bit of some Paralyzed Heals during our time of our, uh, our, our uh, way throughout uh, Dubai City, so that's pretty nice that I actually did go and pick up some status healers before anything else. Oh, no. Oh, normally there's actually supposed to be a hiker here, and he's not even uh, here in this game, so that's pretty nice. Don't even have to worry about fighting a whole bunch of deer dudes from that guy, because I'm pretty certain I think in the vanilla game, I think, or something like that, he does uh, have like a million different geo dudes that you have to go and fight him. Uh, there's also a, an item down there. I should probably go and see what that's all about. So let's just go fast forward through this and get this battle underway. Oh man, okay, so we got ourselves an A-Palm. Uh, I guess what we could do is just probably uh, bring out Queen out for this one. This one should be, uh, ooh, wow, okay. Well, thank God that's not being a Nuzlocke out here because uh, getting pursued would not be fun, uh, even in a Nuzlocke. Because I know that that has happened to me countless amount of times in my original uh, Pokemon Black Randomizer version 1 if anybody has been around my uh, channel for that long. Because Pursuits used to be the death of me in that uh, freaking uh, series, which that was not really fun. There we go. Sloth is also down. Or Slack Off is also down. Uh, let's go and switch on out of here. Okay, I think we should be fine out here for this. Go for a nice good spark. And Taylor is done. Alright, sweet. Well, uh, also too, uh, I, I think uh, just yesterday I actually did purchase myself another new uh, game for my GameCube collection. I actually just went and purchased out Pac-Man World 3. I'm really excited about actually uh, probably doing a series for that uh, relatively soon. Because if you guys haven't uh, checked out my original Pac-Man World, I actually did do Pac-Man World 2 uh, on this channel. And uh, I did actually have to say that was actually somewhat of a very fun series that, that it was. It was something interesting that I never really uh, got to play like any of the Pac-Man World games before. But uh, Pac-Man World 2 was actually somewhat relatively fun. And uh, I wouldn't mind actually going to try out the third one. Now, I, I, uh, now I know that uh, from other type of YouTubers and other type of reviews that I have seen, it's not really the best of that type of stuff uh, of that of, of that uh, series. Um, but but I wouldn't mind it, uh, giving it uh, giving it a shot. Another magnitude to the face. Well, hopefully that's not going to be magnitude ten, or else that'd be really scary. <laughs> Because it's only our uh, only uh, water type. Well, 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 I wouldn't really say our water type Pokemon, but it. But uh, Nid Arena is allowed to have water balls. So hopefully uh, we don't really uh, lose it right away. Because unfortunately I don't really have like any type of lives or any of the sort right now. Uh, we also do have a Noble coming. Uh, we should probably just go and uh, use up a Super Potion right here, right now. Let's do it. All right, uh, let's go and set up for another good old water pulse. And Numble goes down. Sweet. And of course, we're not even finished with it yet. We also do have a shield on here. Let's eat up with this water pulse to see you later. Oh, I can't wait until we start. Ooh, refresh already. All right, so Esper wants to learn refresh. Of course, let's go and do that right away. Uh, let's forget about tackle. We don't really need that because Swift is a little bit of a much better move than tackle. So we'll just keep that there for a little while until we get ourselves into a nice good old Espeon and start to learn some other pretty good moves out here. Now, I'm not too entirely sure, but I think uh, es Espeon can actually learn Shadow Ball as a TM, I think, on on that, which I wouldn't mind adding Shadow Ball to Espeon because we don't really have any type of ghost type of moves uh, at all, but I wouldn't mind uh, putting that on Espeon. So let's just go fast forward through this. Okay, we got some Chikorita. No, this shouldn't be all that too bad because I think we got Milo to get the job out, out here for this. Alright, air cutter, let's go. Wow, only did half. Well, it's a little slightly half, not all the way half. Another Rage Leaf. And we're still alive and we're all good out here for that. Ooh. Okay, now we should probably bring out Luffy out here for this one. Uh, let's see. Flame Wheel. Alright, Bulbazer's gone. 
Wow, by the time this whole entire episode is over, I'm gonna be losing out on all my different uh, status healers, I think, by the time all this is done. Alright, there we go. So, super potion up. Let's do it. Alright, everybody's good. Let's just go and hit up from here. Oh, you can actually find Hoppins in here. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. We could uh, probably bring back Kirby if we wanted to, but not gonna really do that because I'm kind of happy with the team that we already have for right now. And we also do have some berries. Yes. All right. Finally, the berry collector can finally be back for this for this adventure out here. Because then I don't have to worry about trying to uh, worry about buying any type of status healers or anything. Now, I don't know if this is the way to uh, where Fugo Ironworks is, or is that the other route that's here? I think this could probably be it. But uh, I may probably want to go and do a little bit of some exploration over there at, uh, over at uh, Fugo Ironworks to see what type of interesting new Pokemon are going to be lurking there. Because I think normally you can actually find, like, uh, Magnet, uh, Magnemites, I think, and other, uh, other uh, type of Pokemon that are going to be there. I'm not really too entirely certain what the other ones are, but I know that Magnemites are there. Oh man, okay, well there's a Weasel, but I think we're okay for all the Pokemon that we have right now, so just keep on going by. Ah, Repel, don't mind if I do, thank you. Oh man, here we go, got ourselves a karate girl out here, let's go do it. Or battle girl. Okay, uh, let's just go and switch out into Milo. Probably... Ooh, I... Of course, of course. Why is it every time that I always have to go and use Milo for anything, a Machop literally has to go and use Burk Break and destroy me right at the very beginning of everything? Um, well, this is going to be pretty annoying because I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, let's just go and set up for Flame Wheel, I guess. Yep, that's also a critical hit. Jeez, man. These Machops are not playing around. Seismic Toss. Okay, well, at least you got poison. You're almost done. All right, here, take that to the face. All right, and we also got ourselves a Meditite. Uh, I guess Water Pulse again. Ooh, okay, that's a little bit... That's a little bit scary. No! Please do not kill me. Okay, well, thank God fate didn't work. <laughs> uh, well, Mankey's also coming out. Uh, okay, I guess I could just probably just stay on this. Super Potion up. Let's do it. Let's see, okay, so Pursuit, not gonna really do anything. We'll set up for Water Pulse. Ooh, nice, we almost got it done. Poison Fang, and there we go. Makey is gone. Oh, finally, thank you. No! No, that's the Healing House. I need to make it there. But you, you camper, or Pinticker girl, you had to be in my way. Okay, well, it's just only a pimple. This should be fine. This is something easy for Shadow to do. Alright, there we go. Shibchar. Uh, I'm gonna get by through this. I'll just stay in. Spark baby. Nice. Almost knocked it out. Yes, the quick claw popped. And yes, we can finally get this bout out of the way. Thank you. I need to get into the healing house, please. Oh, old lady. Heal me up, please. Don't have to worry about going back to the Pokemon Center anymore for Mora Town. Now, I don't know if this guy actually does any trading with us. Let's see. So, repels are useful. Don't you think? When you use repel, we Pokemon won't come out. Okay, so you don't really do anything. Fine then. Well, all that we really have left right now is uh, just heading right into the forest. So, let's go do that. Alright, hey there, Cheryl. Okay, so your name is Prox, so I'm seriously glad to meet you. Prox, uh, you are a strong trainer. Sorry to be so sudden, but we may have a battle so I can test out your strength. Oh, wow, really? So we're actually going to be uh, battling out with Cheryl out here. So let's see what type of Pokemon that she's got out here for this. Alright, so she got herself a Drift Loon. Now this should be relatively simple for us, right? Because I believe uh, Drift Loon is going to be super effective against uh, with Spark, so that should be uh, all that too bad. Uh, and then we can also probably set for a fight as well, too, because that's also super effective out here. Nice. Alright, quick claw popped again. Let's get ourselves Chansey, which you know what I'm going to do out here. It's just going to be bringing out Luffy and set up some Moth Punchers, because as long as we have some Fight-type moves, Chansey should be able to go down here relatively fast. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, sweet. Now, I think that was also another downside. I think that was uh, because of Diamond and Pearl is that, like, if you ever had to, like, battle, like, a Blissey or a Snorlax or, like, any type of Pokemon that has, like, really strong, like, defense, uh, like, it takes so, so, so long for that Pokemon to literally get its health bar down. So that's why I really do enjoy Platinum a lot more is that you don't have to worry about that type of stuff. Uh, and now we are learning a brand new move, and I have no idea what that is. It's actually a low kick. Um, now, it says that a purple low kick that makes the foe fall over and inflicts greater damage on the heavier foes. Uh, now, I don't know if I want this move or not. I kind of like having Mock Punch. Uh, but we could probably give up on Scratch, because we don't really uh, need to worry about having that move. So yeah, let's just forget about Scratch. I think we could probably take it. Or forget about Furry Swipes. Um, you know what? We'll probably just keep Scratch. Because we'll just keep that there just for the time being. Because we may probably get something a little bit more powerful. So let's just go and uh, just stick a little kick on here. Nice. So we got ourselves two fight type moves. Don't really mind. I'll bet that all that too much. And we also do have a Wailmer coming out here. Uh, again with the Wailmers. Uh, I don't even want to think about uh, our previous... Uh, series that we did before with uh, what was it? I think it was uh, the Ruby Randomizer that we just did and uh, trying to hunt out for a Whalemer to get uh, the, the freaking post, well, 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 well not even the post game uh, for that series but trying to do it as like somewhat of a side type of episode to like literally get done to see what our Reggies are going to be and unfortunately just trying to find a Wilmer in there was just absolutely impossible. I found a Relicant though, because normally Relicants are actually a harder Pokemon to find than a Wilmer, so I don't know why I can't find a Wilmer though. Nice, we also got uh, Paralyzed. Okay, so let's just go and bite right there. Because I think like in the original game, uh, for um, Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald, I'm pretty sure that Relicant is only in one spot and one spot only, and that's just right around where uh, Stutopolis City is, and it's only like a 5% or something like that catch rate to find, which I thought that was absolutely insane to literally do that side mission. Uh, now we also do have Double Kick as well, which that's actually somewhat pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm going to keep Howl, but I'm going to forget about Charge. I don't really need that, but at least we have Double Kick to, uh, have a little bit more of that, uh, fight type, of uh, attack out here. Okay, and we also do have a Makuhita coming out, which that would be, uh, which that should be alright out here with Milo. But again, I know that this thing is gonna probably have another Brick Breaker or Karate Chop just having its name on it out here for us. Here, how about we can go to sleep? Now you don't have to worry about doing that, and I can just go set up for Air Cutter. What the heck? Again! Brick Breaks out here. And it's like criticals every time. Well, I know, I, well, I'm pretty sure that I think Burk Breaks and uh, Party Chops are always going to be a critical hit every time. Okay, uh, let's just go set up for a spark out here, because that's the only thing that I can only probably think about doing. <laughs> Jeez. Cheryl, you need to calm down with, with your Makuhita out here. Because, like, I know that, 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 that Milo has a curse. But it's a good thing that I don't have to worry about that because we're not in a Nuzlocke. But it's just really annoying that I have to lose Milo every time because I don't have a revive. <laughs> Once I get revives, then people can go and start killing Milo if they want to. But for right now, I'm kind of not wanting Pokemon to die right now on my team. <laughs> okay, let's just go and... Uh start headed back up here into Eternal Forest. Am I gonna have, like, enough time to literally, like, get out of here, though? Because, <laughs> I, cause, like, I don't really want to make this video go on too, too long, though. I didn't even expect that Cheryl was actually gonna be battling us, so we may probably have to stop it, like, halfway throughout here in Eternal Forest, unfortunately. Um, I think we could probably just do this fight, and I guess we could call it a, uh, call it a part. We could just probably just fast forward through this, because I think these... These two trainers, I think, are gonna probably still have the same exact type of Pokemon that they had back in the original game. Okay, so this should be really simple out here for Shadow, because we have, like, both of the super effective weaknesses on both of these Pokemon out here. So there you go, so Surge gets down. Thunderbolt, you don't really need to do that. Uh, double kick. We'll set it up on the, uh, oh, come on, Chansey was already down? Wow. Oh, I don't know if we got ourselves so does support out here. Uh, what's up for a spark? So it seems like uh, the Pokemon are somewhat different uh, for these two trainers, because normally they would have, like, uh, I think a Dustox and a Beauty Fly for this part here. 
But there we go. Knock down the other plus one. And there is only just a bit of that. Uh, how are we going to get by through this? Um, probably just switch out into Luffy, I think. That seems kind of like the best possible option. Okay, or you could just go as, uh, for uh, Air Cutter as well and just absolutely destroy those two traders. Uh, let's go ahead up here, see what we got. Oh, thank you for the paralysis, uh, or, or, or uh, for the paralysis uh, here, because I do need that back. Because they already kind of used one up already. Uh, so what I'll do here, guys, is go and end off this episode here for today. Uh, I thought I was going to probably have enough time to literally just go and uh, head right on into, uh, uh, right over to Eterna City, but didn't even expect that we were actually going to be doing a battle out here with Cheryl, so I guess some things are a little bit different here uh, in this game, so it seems like uh, probably if we ever do go and head into, uh, I think, I, I don't think it's called Turnback Cave, but I think it's the other one, I think it's called Wayward Cave, I'm pretty certain. If we go and probably do the Wayward Cave, we may probably have to go and battle out uh, uh, the girl that's in there as well too, probably, uh, so... Uh, and also probably Riley too, that's also gonna be another kind of scary thing as well over at the Iron Island, so, um, so I think, uh, throughout all these different, uh, um, uh, partners that come with us, uh, here for the time being, it seems like they're actually gonna be, uh, battling us to, uh, test our strength out here with them, but, uh, we'll worry about heading into Eterna City for the next episode, I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace.